We've come to India with 25 companies uh, from across the UK uh, with a range of interests and specialties which we believe will be of interest in India. The Smart Cities programme has the germ of being a fantastic scheme for improving the quality of health. And I mean not just the quality of health care, but actually the quality of health of people who live in urban areas today. I think India can do things that we couldn't do in the UK, by which I mean jump a generation in terms of communication. Use mobile telephony in a way which can advance telemedicine. Uh, use telephony in a way which allows patients to communicate remotely uh, with physicians. Use wearables. Uh, devices that are uh, worn on the body or in clothing and which can communicate data uh, back to some central point which indicate uh, a deterioration, for example, in the state of health uh, of the individual. Uh, we can do much more real-time monitoring out in the community using modern smart technologies that previously would have had to be done in a hospital bed. So I think that smart cities tie into a new generation of smart medicine uh, and create uh, I think fantastic possibilities for India. I think collaboration between the UK and India in healthcare is already very strong. Uh, there's already a lot of exchange going on in terms of medical education, uh, in terms of the development of different medical and surgical specialties, uh, in the use of data and, of course, in the use of and development of drugs. I think what we're looking for as a result of this mission is a deeper and deeper partnership uh, which will flow to the benefit both of the UK and of India. We have a number of common strengths, but we also have a number of complementarities and we have a lot of common ambitions of spreading universal healthcare population, to, universal healthcare to our populations. Well, I think there's a lot of reasons why India is a very attractive place for the UK to do business. Uh, there is, of course, a long history of relationship. There is a commonality of language and actually a, quite a common set of institutions. So we understand each other quite well, although I think we both get quite confused about each other from time to time as well. Uh, but there's a, also a sense of common purpose and an ability to have a dialogue and a closeness of relationship that helps UK companies and NHS Trust to understand how they can do business in India.